Hello and welcome to my channel. Well, what we have here today is another fantastic gift from Toby and family. It's a Marbles Ram's Horn Canoe. Now, I have another Ram's Horn Marbles, and uh, i just like to say, man, the, the natural materials like Ram's Horn, um, Antler, and bone are i mean i like all kinds of handled materials but those are some of my favorite because you get so much character with them and the marbles they leave some of the uh, outer bark basically of the horn on and you still have the translucent part also let me see if this guy will zoom in see how you can see that pin all the way through there i think the reason why they don't go, here's here's a joker that's all the bark is gone. I think the reason why they don't go with that besides the aesthetics is uh, people might think that's just plastic, you know, or acrylic. Uh, but if you leave, see like with this one, they, they leave some of the whiteness, you know, the different color. But if you get down to the translucent part, it just doesn't look as good. Well, anyways, we have this. Let me see what its number is here. Marbles doesn't go super elaborate. MR360 with their boxes, which is fine. You get it like this. And it comes in a plastic uh, wrapping. And that's it. And the way I think about that is any money you save on the cost of the knife, I mean... What do most of us do with those boxes, man? We either throw them away or we store them in another box. But we don't use them unless you're going to resell it and stuff. You know, it's nice to have them. But uh, if it's going to cost me, if it adds like 3 or $4 or, or more to the cost of the knife, save it, man. Send it to me in a paper bag if you have to. Uh, but anyways, yeah, this one's got a lot of nice... Let's see if we can... Just, Get up closer to it like that. Yeah, there we go. Nice fit and finish on it. Um, nice characteristics. You know, you got like matching the way it's done on the handles. I think this one was done the same way. If you watch uh, Knife Chats with Tobias, you'll know this is his favorite. This was his favorite uh, knife for the longest time. May, I, don't, I don't know if it's been surpassed, but... Um, I don't know what else they make in this ram horn. I'll have to look it up. But they're pretty good. Ooh, that hand just creeped. Did you see that? Did it all on its own. This place is haunted. All right, well, as with any canoe, you've got the two blades. This one has that reverse frosting ram horn. And if, I don't know if you noticed that, but see how that's a horn? Like a ram's horn right there. And on the end, it's a little flare they add there. Um, yeah, it's got its model number in China, and these are in 440A. Of course, we have a pin blade back here. These type of knives, these canoes, uh, are uh, great pocket droppers, man, because they're not they're not wide enough that any change or anything. Maybe a a dime might make it in there, but. Uh, they're smooth. They don't tear up your pocket. They'll just land there and rest in the bottom of the pocket if you don't have a slip. And you've got some pretty useful blades. Uh, let's see what the pull is. It it gets most of its resistance right in the middle arc of this. Like, you've got a fairly easy open at first, and then it gets harder. So, I'd say about like a two or a three and then it gets up to like five six and then it starts easing up pretty good lock up yeah there's no half stop this one hasn't been cleaned or anything else i can tell it's a little it's just got a little bit of breaking in or grittiness to it like I said, I haven't touched it. I haven't uh, cut anything with it. 
this one doesn't have much of a snap coming back here it just kind of like loses its momentum you see that i like a blade that not just snaps shut but snaps open let's see if this guy will do it see that that that's what i like that part when it does it on its own it closes on its own this pin blade is not doing that now if you put some kpl on it and work it back and forth it'll probably be able to get to where it gets but there's a lot of friction right here it's getting a lot of resistance so by the time the friction gives up it's it's time for lockup you know and it anyways they're pretty cool knives and um it's closed length three and three quarters so you probably got a less than three inch blade here yeah violate any laws there two and a half inch overall with like a two and an eighth maybe because you got that little choil there so yeah pretty good pretty good size let me pull a little doesn't want to cooperate too well pin blade out we'll measure him inch and five eighths with about a two inch overall on that blade so yeah this would be a probably a uk legal type of blade if it uh, ever got any giveaways that go over to overseas that one would be okay that would be all right so all we need next is the weight so what i wanted to say about uh, also about bone of course this the texture you got these ridges here you know and on the smooth one this is smooth but it feels different than bone bone feels colder and a little bit harder on it so i don't know that's all i've got on that now let me get its weight down here for you and what i also wanted to show you the difference between the uh, small moose and the big moose it's pretty hot in here i don't have i got the air conditioner on but it's not running right now but it's another very hot day in texas 72 grams or is that ounces yeah 2.5 ounces but yeah i had done a video on how i straightened this blade up on this moose and then i realized yeah i i straightened it up but i did that by making the blade go this way and then this way <laughs> it's not real obvious you know it looks centered in the channel but the way i did it uh, the tip this is the best way to see it where's the blade right there all right so this side is is flat over here right if you put it on this side you'll see that the tip is not touching the ruler just by a little bit and that's because i put it in a vise and i flexed it this way just a little bit and i probably went a little too far anyways it's better than what it was and anytime you go to correct this thing uh if you do something like that you basically have made the decision you know if you get a knife from the factory and uh it's bad it's bent and you don't like it um your best bet is to send it back and try to get one that's uh doesn't have a bent blade or you can be like me adventurous and try to fix it yourself when you make that decision you can no longer send that knife back for being bent because you, now you're putting your own bends into it so you uh, eliminated you basically you're working on your own knife you know so all bets are off and um, you also risk the chance of snapping a blade 
because a lot of people are going to try to take that whole bend out in one bend. I was flexing it just a little bit, maybe five degrees or so off of true just to try to get it back. You know, another method you can use is to sandwich, you know, two flat pieces of steel on either side of it and compress it. That's kind of what I was doing with the device, but I didn't use the flat pieces of steel. All right, so this is a large moose compared to the small moose. So you can see you're getting... Oh, it wouldn't help if you had the ruler in the right direction. Yeah, you got like a four and a half inch on the large moose. I don't know why I don't use calipers. I've got them. I got calipers that'll just read this stuff exactly. Here you are. Down to the point zero zero zero. All right. So there you go. There's the large moose. Yeah, like I said, I did a video. I edited it. And as I was uh, getting ready to upload it, I canceled it because I said, you know what? How are you going to label this video? How I fix my blade, my, my bent blade by putting another bend in it and making it bent, but just in a different way, you didn't really fix it, you know? <laughs> yeah, the title of that, that video was going to be How I Fixed My Bent Blade Kind of, Sort of, Well, Maybe. <laughs> you know you're messing up when you can't even decide on your title. Anyways, thank you for watching and have a nice day.